Hello, welcome back to our channel, Way Out Here. Today we're going to do our second beehive inspection. We did one last week. Um, unfortunately, my phone was full and we couldn't record it. This is only our second one, so we're still learning. Um, first noticeable change is this is our hive feeder now. We have an entrance feeder instead of the in-frame feeder. We just found that this was maybe a little bit of a better option for us. There's less dead bees. It just kind of works out better. So the first thing I'm going to do is refill this before they get out here. And then when they get out here, they'll have the smoker and we'll be able to start our inspection. Okay, so he just twisted off the bee food. Hold on, don't fight, please. Shake the bee off. Shake the bees off. And then bring it over here so we can fill it. Come on. Bring it over here. Go. And over here. Okay. Yep. Alright, so I'm going to fill this while he holds the camera, which is my phone. And we'll just get this out of the way. This is just the simple syrup, the one-to-one -one ratio. We put it in this white thing. That and then I will give it to Scarlett and let that, her put it in the hive. There's all the bees. There were a bunch of bees having it all. There's a dead bee in there. That's okay. All right. Slowly put it down. Don't squash the bees, okay? We are going to put it on. Right there. Cool. All right. So now their hive feeder is completely full. hive inspection. I'm going to first pull out, this is our mite board. We're going to see what we've got for mites here. Looks like we got some ants. The ants really are on it. And the mites are pretty small. Back up a little bit, bud. Those are the ants. You actually don't see any on here, though. There's a bunch of ants just running. Well, there's one. So you gotta look kind of close. They're pretty small. I only see one mite that's dropped off. Which is good. You don't want, like, a lot of mites. That would be terrible. No, you don't want any mites if you can help it. There's so many. Okay, back up, please. So I only see one mite. So we're gonna mark it down that we did see it. Where was it? It was over here. I want to mark down the square that it was on. There it is. Squish it. D6. Make sure there's no more over here. Squish it. Mom, squish it. D6. Squish it, Mom. Gonna wipe it off. Wipe it off. Start over. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Mark it down that we found one on D6, and we will put our board back in the exact same way it came D6. out. D6. Remember that. D6. Okay. All right, we're going to start our inspection. So this is our little beekeeping log. We just got this at, I think, Baumgars. I don't even really know anymore. Baumgars are tractor supply, and we're just going to have the bees get smoked, and we're going to... Look for any problems and we're going to mark anything that we find. Okay. Stand back a little bit, buddy. Alright, so this is a eight-year-old filming this, so patience when it comes to what you can and cannot see. We have a ten-year-old doing the smoking. Look at all of these. Back up, buddy. Back up. I'm just going to... There's a bunch of bees right there. Mm -hmm. They like it when they get smoked. It, you wig running. Mm 
But see how many bees there are. Right. Whoa. Looks like they're not really using the pollen patties. Yeah. But that's okay. Okay, back up a little bit. You're too close. No, I'm not. Okay. Hold on. Can you go grab, run and grab the bee brush? I don't know where it the is. Dog house? All right, so he's just pulling off the bee patties. Still taking his time. Go slow. The best advice I think we found is the slower you go and the less herky jerky you are around the bees, the better behaved they are. There's a yellow jacket. Smoking them. All right, so he's going to start on what we're calling frame 10, which is on that edge over there. We're just going to check and see if there's anything on it, and there is nothing. So we're just going to mark it down in our book as nothing, if you can see. And we're going to continue to do this and see what we can find on each frame. Nothing. So they're not filling up their hive super fast, which is fine. But there's a lot more bees in here than when we first got them. This is number eight. Number eight. Nope, nothing on number eight. Seven. Yeah, number seven. This is the one we found the queen on last time. And she is marked with a white dot. Number seven. We're going to slowly pick this up. These are everywhere. And see what we see on this one. There's obviously honeycomb on this. This is the one we originally got. Alright, yep, honey home. We've got a bunch of capped brood. We've got uncapped brood. We've got eggs and larvae. And then what's on the back side? Do you see anything? I don't see the queen. It's a lot of uncapped brood, but I don't see the queen. Alright, sorry, I accidentally turned that off. There is no queen on frame seven, but we are going to still look to find her. Ooh, they're everywhere. Mm hmm. There's. We're just going to go through all of these frames and mark them down. And as we find things, we hopefully find the queen. I will mark them down in our little book. I hope we find the queen. And if we find the queen, I will come back and show you. All right, so there's our queen. I don't know if you guys can see her. I can't even see her. Right there. There she is. So she's marked, so she's easy to find. It looks like we've got capped brood, honeycomb. And more capped brood. Looks like we've got some larvae. Looks like a, what's it, they call that pupa, pupa. A little bee coming out. So that one needs to go back in very, very carefully so we don't roll our. All right, and we're just going to continue the same process till we get through all of our frames. And then we will mark everything down in the book as we go. Okay, so we finished our inspection, and I'll show you our little book when we're done. We actually have some honey cells and some capped honey this time, which we did not have any, if much, last time. So that's a good sign. And the hive looks stronger to me. What do you think? Absolutely. Well, a lot more bees this time and a lot more heavy frames to take in and out. So we're just putting the lid back on, and we are going to leave these guys alone for a whole nother week. And we'll come back and do another update maybe with our third hive inspection since they got so strong. I feel like they got pretty strong over just the course of a week. Yeah. And we'll see how well they're doing next week.